term that we use to describe the transfer of energy from one structure to another. For instance, radiation from the sun we experience as light or as heat. It's important to know that there's no conclusive evidence that medical imaging has led to cancer death, but large studies of populations over time have demonstrated a slight increase in cancer risk in people exposed to even low dose of radiation. Children are more sensitive to radiation, and that's why we're concerned about the dose of radiation that they can receive. Medical radiation can be used to diagnose diseases or to treat diseases. Medical imaging tests with radiation include conventional radiography, computed tomography or CT, and nuclear medicine tests. Because of their small size, children require less radiation than adults to create the same diagnostic imaging. Also, children's tissues are smaller and more sensitive to radiation. And one more thing, children have a longer life expectancy, so they have a greater time period to express the damaging effects of radiation. The physicians and staff at Dayton Children's are all dedicated to providing the best care possible for children and to their families. Every medical imaging test performed at Dayton Children's is performed by a registered technologist. Every technologist and every radiologist have taken the Image Gently pledge to promise to use the smallest radiation dose possible for the child. A pediatric radiologist reviews every request for a CT scan at Dayton Children's to determine if it's the best possible test to answer the doctor's needs, and if it is, the, uh, the pediatric radiologist then determines how the test should be done correctly before it's performed. First of all, we should only image when there's a clear medical benefit to doing this study. Second of all, we should consider using alternative diagnostic imaging, such as ultrasound or MRI, if that will help us reach the diagnosis that we need. When we decide that radiation is the best way to make a diagnosis for the patient, we should always use the smallest amount possible related to the patient's size. We should only scan the area that's involved, and we should only scan it once to make sure we've done it correctly the first time. 